thanks. This air cleanliness is next to godliness, and today it's second nature to wash regularly and keep a clean home. We've got creams and soaps and all sorts of stuff to keep ourselves and our homes spotlessly clean from top to bottom. Steady. As ever, we take the mechanics of domestic life for granted. But these things are relatively recent arrivals to our home. They didn't just pop out of thin air. Where did they come from? Let's take a look. You can't get more basic than this, but think about what it's doing. All the infrastructure behind it. Turn on a tap, and if you'll pardon the pun, you're tapping into untold billions of pounds worth of water treatment, sewer systems, and pipe work. Imagine one of these attached to one of these. This is Baiting's Dam in West Yorkshire. When you turn that tap on in your home, somewhere a reservoir of millions of gallons just like this one is letting out just a drop down our pipes into our homes. The 775 million gallons out there and that's equivalent to, it's a lot of water. My dad built this, not on his own, with a thousand other blokes, all toiling away with picks and shovels. In actual fact, my dad drove a steam crane and I can remember him first thing in the morning coming over here to get the coal on to build up the head of steam, just so that it would run down the railway tracks and do its building as it went along. It all sounds very Victorian, but this dam was completed just before the 60s began to swing. And that was only 20 years after running water became available in most homes throughout Britain. So go back a few centuries and you can imagine how difficult it was to keep clean. 